Starting in 2024, the age of the Power 2 will be officially upon us. The Big Ten and the SEC, with the additions of Texas, Oklahoma, and USC respectively, have taken their conferences to another stratosphere. But should an unholy alliance exist, should the Big Ten and the SEC work together to leave the rest of the country behind. Before we get into that, just a reminder to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Big Ten content all off-season long. Always crush that like button to spread the word of Big Ten Ted to the masses. I want to start with this. From a media perspective, these two teams are opposites right now. And I'm going to get in why that's a good thing. For our beloved Big Ten, right? The SEC has an exclusive deal with ABC, Disney, ESPN, whatever you want to call it, over there. And the Big Ten has a deal with pretty much every other major network, Fox, CBS, and NBC. From a media perspective, no crossover. They certainly aren't working together. And that's a great thing for the Big Ten, especially in the latter years, maybe even uh, prior to that, but especially in these latter years. You really noticed um, the ESPN really being in the SEC's corner in terms of promotion and some of these big games, in terms of college football playoff discussion and all of those things. For the Big Ten to have their own media partners to receive big-time promotion, NFL games on CBS, NFL games on NBC, and of course uh, the Fox promotion they have as the primary rights holder of the Big Ten Conference. It is great to have, your, to have networks in your corner that aren't ESPN. Because we know the ESPN is going all in with the SEC and vice versa. It is good. It is great for the Big Ten to have that diversity, to have that separation in media partners. So I quickly wanted to start with that. Now, when you talk about conferences working together, when you talk about the Big Ten and the SEC possibly working together, there has been a lot of evidence to say not only can the Big Ten and SEC not to work together, any conference with any conference can't work together. Look what happened during the COVID season. Look what happened during 2020, right? The SEC played 10 games. The Pac-12, what did they play? Six. The Big Ten, I think, played eight. You know, it's all over the place. There was no, every conference was working in their best interest. And as long as we have this format that we have, every conference is going to continue to do that, every, including the Big Ten. Every conference is going to continue to work within what's in the best interest of their presidents, their athletic directors, their coaches, and their universities. The SEC thought they did that. What was best during COVID? The Big Ten, uh, the Pac-12, all these other conferences thought they did what, what was best. They weren't able to work together during a global pandemic. So if they can't work together during a global pandemic, you think they're going to work together on something like scheduling, right? Recently, we saw the SEC saying they're probably going to stay at eight games, even though Greg Sankey is a proponent of nine conference games in the future, because he knows an extra conference game in the future could equal more moolah for the SEC down the road. But right now, the SEC wants to stay at eight conference games because they want to protect the narrative that they are this outstanding and much better conference than our beloved Big Ten. Because when you only got eight conference games, you get to play Furman, you get to play the Citadel in November, you get probably an extra win for some of those teams that are on the cusp of bowl eligibility. Look at all these bowl eligible teams that we have. Well, that's what happens when you're not playing that extra conference games where maybe instead of teams finishing six and six, they're on the outside looking in at five and seven. And there's so many things to dive in in terms of scheduling. And you look at the Big Ten, what they've done um, for the last handful of years. They're at sitting at nine conference games. So you look at scheduling, uh, you look at COVID, you look at all of these things. Conferences are going to do what's in their best interest. But... And there's always a but. But if the Big Ten and the SEC have the goal, and according to Ted Carter, maybe there's been some discussions with this, some very brief and preliminary discussions at least, if their goal is to separate from the rest of college football, for the Big Ten and the SEC to go off on their own for that to happen, our beloved B1G and the SEC are going to have to work together. They're going to have to work together because if 
you separate, you're probably going to have to establish a non-conference series. You're probably going to have to establish an even number of games in terms of postseason. How are these postseason games going to work? Because in theory, if you separate from the rest of college football, your conferences are going to 10, 20 teams, 22 teams, maybe even 24 teams. I think that's where you start getting into Big Ten playoffs, Big Ten quarterfinals, Big Ten semifinals, Big Ten championship. There needs to be some working together if that is their goal down the road. Now, if that's not their goal, you still have to do what we talked about earlier, and that's act in your best interest. I think for now, right, if we're talking about in the right here and right now, I'm going to take a line out of the Colorado Athletic Director's playbook. You are going to do what's in our best interest. We're going to do what's best for the Big Ten. The Big Ten is in a position of power right now. If working with the SEC involves sacrifices, if it involves compromises, the Big Ten should have no part of it. The same goes for somebody like Notre Dame. If Notre Dame said, yeah, we want to come into the Big Ten, but we don't want to play on the Big Ten network, we don't want to do this, we don't want to play that, then no. The Big Ten is a power to conference. The Big Ten has schools from the East Coast to the West Coast. The Big Ten works with big time media partners that also partner with the National Football League and are some of the best media partners in all of sports collegiate or professional today. The Big Ten is a power player. And if this involves any compromise or anything like that, the Big Ten ought to say no right now the idea of the big 10 and the sec separating it seems like it's 10 15 years something like that at the soonest down the line but i don't really see anything like that happening right now what would an agreement what would a working together relationship look like it probably wouldn't involve scheduling you could at least at a conference level they wouldn't have the same number of conference games um you might see a non-conference series imagine the television revenue for both groups ESPN and then Fox, CBS, NBC. Imagine like a neutral site series between the SEC and the Big Ten where maybe these respective conferences can put these games at neutral sites and it can be additional revenue um, to both of these conferences, right? One versus one, two versus two, right? If you keep the number of teams the same right now, it's 16 and 16. It's other ideas like that. How can a working relationship benefit the other? When you're the two big players in the room, there's plenty of opportunities, there's plenty of creativity, and there's plenty of ideas on the table to really further yourself and separate yourselves from the rest. What do I think is going to happen? I think eventually the Big 12 is probably going to expand pretty large, and they're going to be in there as well. I could see the SEC, the Big 10, and the Big 12 eventually separating. Competition sometimes is what is best for both leagues. You saw Texas and Oklahoma get nabbed by the SEC, and then USC and UCLA come back. When you talk about working together, sometimes working against each other is the best way to benefit both conferences. Right? Competition breeds success. Competition breeds excellence uh, between conferences. There could be an agreement, you know, gentlemen's agreement, say, hey, maybe when the ACC schools are up for grab, may the best man win kind of a deal. Should the Big Ten and the SEC work together right now? No. I think the only way that they should work together in the future is if they plan to separate from the rest of the country from a football perspective. I want to hear what you guys think. This has been talked about a lot. Big Ten SEC may be separating down the road. Do you think it should happen? Should the Big Ten and the SEC work together? Or like me, do you think the Big Ten is in a position of power and they should do what's best for them? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Big Ten Ted. We will see you in the next one.